Hey there, it's Jamie from An Oregon Cottage, and today I'm bringing you one of my most popular holiday DIYs um, on the website, and it is how to wrap a box with a lid. It doesn't sound very um, fancy, but it is a great way to be able to reuse boxes, really sturdy boxes, and to be able to reuse and keep paper that you love because once you wrap the box with the lid, you can reuse this over and over. It's a key part of my gift wrapping system and that video will be linked below because if you do these two things together at the holidays, you will save yourself a lot of time, money, and stress and keep things out of the landfill. But also, this is a great thing for birthdays. You can have a birthday gift wrapping system where you um, do the same thing. And if you just want a special box to give for a wedding or some special occasion, wrapping a box with a lid is just a great way to present a gift. Okay, so the first thing you need is obviously your box. This is a very sturdy, it almost feels like fabric. It's a very sturdy box. And um, then you want some wrapping paper that again is really sturdy and that you love. And you want some clear, uh, wide tape as well as scissors. That's it, that's all you need. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the lid of the box. And we're gonna lay it down. And unfortunately, I can't put these two together like that because I need a lot to come up over the sides and you need an overhang, so that won't work like that. So what you wanna do is measure and you wanna make sure you have enough to come over that it, that it goes over some, but not too much. You don't wanna go down, you just wanna go over the edge. So it's about an inch over the top. And then you want an inch over this top and I just go ahead and fold it so you have a line, and then I'm gonna cut an inch on the top of that. So cut your paper. And again, these lines are all gonna be on the inside of the box, so if they're not perfect, it doesn't matter. No one is gonna see it. Okay, so now we're gonna move this down because we want a little bit of extra for the ends. A little bit more. Um, than the others. So again, give yourself a little bit of line there and then cut. This one I do more like one and a half inches. Again, we're not looking for perfection here. Okay, so once you have your paper cut, the next step is to do the long, this is actually a square box, but pick one side to do first. If it's a rectangle box, you wanna do the long ones first. And you're gonna fold and this is key to making it look nice, is to fold all the edges really well. And you just want one piece of tape right now. At the end, we'll go back and secure everything, but right now, you just want one piece of tape to hold that on. Don't squish too much. We're gonna take care of the corners in a minute. Let's just get both of our sides really done. Make it very tight. You wanna make your edges nice and tight there. Get a piece of tape and put it down there. If it's close to the edge, your tape can go over the side. Again, that's not a big deal. Notice how mine are not even and that's fine. The next thing is we're gonna be doing the corners here. And this, um, let me show you from this end. This is the only tricky part. So what you're gonna wanna do is almost like you're just wrapping a regular box, how you wrap a box. You're gonna bring the corners in like that. And then you have this section here and you're gonna wanna bring it over and you just wanna make it look as nice as, as you can. Take a little bit of extra time with this because you want it to last, that's the whole idea. So notice how it's just, I'm just flattening it down in there. You don't have to do anything special, you just use your fingers to flatten that down. And then take a piece of tape and secure that. And now we're gonna do the next corner. I'll do it this way to show you again. You want to bring it in. I'm going to kind of bring this flat over the top. This is the only part that's tricky is the corners. All right, so now you've got that. And so the next step is just to fold it over the top, just like that. And you've got it folded there, and now you can Bring a piece of tape to hold that down. You wanna just rub those pieces of tape in there. And you've got a nice edge 
for your lid. And then we just repeat the other side. So once you've got all of your edges taped, now you can go back through and all of the untaped edges put tape on because the idea is to be able to put this on and off your box for many years to come. So you wanna make sure all the edges are taped. Okay, now we're just going to repeat that same process on the bottom of the box. Um, it takes a little bit more paper. This box is a little high. We, luckily, we have just enough. <laughs> That's nice. Um, but again, so I don't need to cut the sides because I have enough. I, I just need a little bit to go over. So what I need to do is measure this. And I think I am going to, just so it's a little more even, I'm going to cut some of this off so I don't have large pieces on this side and little ones on the other side. All right, so you pick a side to start on. Okay, so in trying to do this, I realized that if I left it this, this long, it was too long. So I'm not gonna be able to go over with this box that's taller like this. So I had to, um, and this will happen sometimes when you're wrapping a box with a lid, just just go ahead and you know, fold it, see how it works, um, cut some off. I ended up cutting the edge here off. And so what's gonna happen is that this is gonna cover the top and this is just gonna go up to the top and not be able to go over. It was just too much um, paper to do that with. So I cut a little bit out, I notched a bit out of here and I'm just gonna go ahead and tape that. Okay, that's it. That's how you wrap a box with a lid. It's super easy and a great way to um, save money and help the environment. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please uh, just look at the other ones on our site. We have a ton of really interesting things, gardening, food, and DIY for you. And uh, subscribe.